So I'm out here to have a look at uh, how the acid's been going overnight. And one of the things that you'll notice is I'm going to pick these up. I am wearing gloves. I actually wear two gloves on each hand when I'm playing with nitric acid, or I mean, excuse me, hydrofluoric acid. And I have a little bit of baking soda between the two, so I put uh, baking soda inside the second glove just in case because the gold is sharp and even a drop of this stuff is enough to cause a lot of pain after a few hours of soaking into your skin. So let's see what's happening here. All right, as we can see, it has taken some quartz out of this one area here and it's starting to release um, some of the sugary quartz on the surface as well. It is starting to turn out quite nice in this area. It hasn't quite gotten rid of all the quartz in this spot, but with a enough time, it will definitely do that. I will add a little bit more acid to it to um, replenish, because it may have used up the hydrofluoric. You can see that there is residual quartz in the bottom. It just may be that it's a little cold. I did have it sitting overnight outside and it's a little chilly so it slows down the procedure a little bit. Alright so we'll check that one out. Add a little bit more. And let's check this big one. Put that in there so it doesn't fall over. Alright. So this one's also been sitting in acid overnight, although I did heat this one up. And as you can see, it's eaten up a lot more of the quartz that was on the surface. All through this area, it's taken quite a bit more off, exposing a lot more of the gold. Just gonna take it out of the pan and put it down. It's quite heavy really cool right in here there's some nice chunks of coarse pyrite good gold all throughout have an interesting matrix right in there the gold is coming all the way up through this area here and I love how the arsino pyrite going through here has all got gold through it there's some nice leafy gold. I don't know how much further down I'm going to go in this area, but I would think that the gold dips down and comes back up on this other side. So I may give it one more treatment of hot acid in that area. I would think that underneath this quartz here that the pyrite has the gold all through it and it'll just be a splash of gold across the whole thing. And then of course we still have all the gold that I haven't even started to get into over here. And then the same on this side as well. It comes down all the way through here. So still some more work to do on it but it is starting to turn out to be just a beautiful specimen with a lot of showy leaf crystalline crystallized gold some really cool geology on this one i really love how this piece is turning out definitely a world-class specimen comment below if you agree